surface which the, the ignin blade was then placed on is actually a Pahui Hoi lava. There's a little bit of rubble in it as you see here and in places but for the most part it's actually a smooth surface, continuous smooth coherent surface. There's a Pahui Hoi flow, fairly vesicular flow top and a more massive interior. You can see the difference in the weathering right here even. This one is, is, is less altered than the top. And right at the base of these things we can see lenses of windblown sand, more or less volcanic plastic material, but windblown sand, which is indicating that there was some time between the emplacement of this lava and, and the ignimbrite. And of course, there's alteration minerals filling in the vesicles of the, uh, the lava flow. In this case, uh, mostly clay. There's a bit of zeolites, like over here, 